Mm. Hi there. Welcome to Gatsy on Goosebumps, the show in which I review every single Goosebumps book from R.L. Stein's original series. But I actually do more than that as well. I sometimes take the opportunity to look at Goosebumps and Goosebumps related merchandise that have flooded into our online retailers and into our hearts and minds. And that's what I'll be doing today. Starting with these bad boys to my left. These uh, masks uh, are available from online retailer uh, Fright Rags, which specialises in horror-themed masks, Halloween accessories, that sort of thing. Um, and they've released uh, just these two, uh, based on the Haunted Mask and the Night of the Living Dummy books. Um, I've got to say, this is an officially licensed. This is officially licensed by. Uh, the Goosebumps and Scholastic, which explains why they're able to, you know, um, include Scholastic. But I, I, I adore how much detail they've put in to making it look like the cover of the original book. For comparison, uh, there's the mask, and you know, it, you can tell it's directly based on on the book cover there, down to the colour scheme and everything. So you can tell you've got some uh, some real fans of, of the books there who've um, who've made these. It also looks like, um, you know, there's some artificial weathering on there making it look like, like an old book. Um, yeah, it's meant to look like the spine of a book. Um, really, really authentic, uh, packaging and looks just fantastic on your shelf, whether or not you want to take it out, which I will be doing now. Nothing on the back. Um, you know, they could have included the blurb, but I'm not going to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take off points for that. And there's your mask. Oh, it's very. It's a very hard plastic. I thought it'd be sort of rubbery, but it's a very sort of solid plastic. Like there's not a lot of give in the mask there. You can't sort of like scrunch it up like you can with cheap masks. Let's uh, let's 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 uh, let's get this bad boy out of here. And there you have it. Fantastic mask. Um, Again, directly inspired by the, the front cover of the book, like that's even down to like the placing of the teeth, that's really good detail. Um, just got this sort of like thin elastic band here. Would have liked maybe something thicker, you know, this this seems a bit cheap for such a such a specialized prop, but we'll see how that looks. And it's fine, you know, there's your haunted mask, it's got the yellow eyes and everything. You know, I don't don't have many situations where I need to wear a mask, but I mean that's great, and you know it just it looks it just looks so nice. It's like a big goosebumps book on your shelf. Shush. So we'll take a look at its uh, counterpart here, based obviously on Night of the Living Dummy. Again, they've um, you know gone with the same color scheme. You know it's good that there's two iconic uh, goosebumps characters, um, and they both sort of feature prominently on the front cover, so you can have an actual mask of it and it still looks like it's imitating the front cover. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's same, same material and everything. I like that... Hmm. I was gonna say I like the wear and tear on the on the top of it, I don't know, it sort of looks like it's just been scratched. Like it doesn't, I don't know. Like it feels, it feels like it's been scratched, it doesn't look like it's there deliberately. But I mean, it's an, it's, yeah, I don't know. the eyes aren't in the eyes there, they're just above there, so. Yeah. That, it, I am sort of have to look, look down to look up, like that's, like that's me looking straight ahead. I'm sort of like looking down, so I have to be like this if I wanna. But still, look, it's very. I wish it covered the hair. 
but you know, it's it you know it's just a mask. Um, but fantastic, you know, like I love the detail on it. Love how it's got the little lines here to simulate the the mouth uh, snapping open. I mean, these are a limited edition, I think 500 each. But I mean, for Goosebumps collector, how could you pass up having something like that in your house? You can't. You can't. Be, you can't call yourself. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't go around calling yourself Gatsby on Goosebumps and not buy something like that. You can't do it. Now, both of those masks came with the T-shirt each, and I'm so impressed with uh, what the people at Fright Rags have done. So again, this is the haunted mask version, obviously. It's it's recognisable that it's it's you know based on the front cover of the book, but they haven't just stuck the same cover art on, they haven't just taken Tim Jacobs' cover art and just stuck it on a t-shirt, which would be so easy to do. They've actually, like, they've, this is, you know, an original, an original creation based on the front cover of a classic Goosebumps book, because, you know, it's got the same tagline there, if looks could kill. Um, so you can tell where it is, but it's new artwork. I think it's fantastic. I think it's such a creative um, way, and I think it's just such a creative thing to do, and it shows that, you know, there really are people who, who, who love the Goosebumps books, or at least love the cover art, you know, dedicated to, to remaking them. And same with No Living Dummy. Again, reminiscent of the of the front cover. It almost looks like like that's an extended scene, like you only see there, but then if you move if you move down you get to see him like with his hands up. So recognizable creepy, but really creative as well. So I really I really can't say enough good words about what they decided to do with this. I'm so happy they didn't just stick the cover out on a t-shirt. That's so, like, such a creative and interesting way to do it. Big thumbs up. Wish they came in a white colour. Don't wear a lot of black t-shirts, but I mean, I'll coordinate my costume. My costume? I'll coordinate my outfit uh, to accommodate uh, stuff, to accommodate a Goosebumps shirt. I have to do it. You can't call yourself Gatsby on Goosebumps and not wear a Goosebumps t-shirt when the opportunity arises. You can't do it. So those are from Fright Rags. I think you can get them I think you can get the t-shirts separately, but the masks you have to get with the t-shirt set. Um, no regrets for those purchases, obviously. And these are another example of some merchandise that's come out recently. Um, from uh, Creepsville666, I believe is the, the retailer. Sounds like my old Hotmail account. Um, and they've just done a line of enamel uh, Goosebumps pins. Um, so, one, I've got four here. I've got uh, Curly. And I've got... Everyone's favourite dummy. And I've got this Goosebumps logo. And I've got this interpretation of the haunted mask. I think there's a few more. I think there's two more maybe. One's of like uh, a werewolf howling at the moon, meant to be from the werewolf fever swamp, and another one's like a glittery variant of the Goosebumps logo. Maybe I'll get them to complete the set, but I need to, I need to, you know, I need to stick these on my clothes first. And, um, yeah, it just, it's, um, you know, again, officially licensed. It just, it's so, it's so right seeing that, you know, that logo on, on new merchandise. Do you know what I mean? It's so, it just works. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad, you know, this company's licensing the Goosebumps name and making stuff like this. Um, I don't think I need to, I need to show all of them in detail, but I love like, this. This one has a little mouth that opens up and down. I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about the design of the dummy though. Like I would maybe prefer him with like like a like a narrower face and like black hair. Like a bit like I find that a bit a bit scary. And this is just, just looks like a petulant child kind of. But I mean, it's still you know I think it's recognizable. It's still really cool. Um, and I just you know like like just like the detail on them. You know, you know Curly's got this little goosebumps logo on his. On his um, neckerchief, there, just all the details on the skull. I think the logo is meant to grow in the dark, but I, I don't think I've seen that. I don't think it. Maybe I don't know. Um, and you know, there's there's two pins on each to keep them safe and secure. So you know, I've 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 got to start wearing these. I you know haven't I haven't taken them off just because I want to to show them off in a video. But I mean, like it's just it's it's really cool. You know, it's really cool that they're making stuff like this. Uh, for people like me, and you know, they're, they're really big, and they're enamel, and they're sturdy. It's not sort of just like cheap, like Etsy artists making, like just like copying the Goosebumps artwork. People are making original Goosebumps products with the official license. I think that's very, very cool. I think there are several other companies that have made some 
some pins. Um, I got those because they're actually among the cheapest, but they're really good quality. They're actually really, really good designs. So, I mean, um, yeah, so there's some more stuff out there. That's just what I wanted to show. Um, and, yeah, just to express my enthusiasm that, um, that, you know, the little, the little, the little, you know, eight-year-old Goosebumps fan in me is finally, you know, getting some new stuff to buy. He'd be disappointed that I'm, I'm still into it, probably. He probably thought I would have been, you know, have a family by now, you know, at least a job or, you know, something with his life, anything. Hmm. That's all from Getsy on Goosebumps. Thank you so much for watching. This has just been a special little sneak peek at some of the cool Goosebumps merchandise that's out there for you discerning Goosebumps fans out there. I don't say I don't look after you. Um, but I'll be back next week, if I do upload in a week's time, and usually like there's like 10 weeks between episodes. I'll be back next time with a, another classic book review. Which one's it gonna be? I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna upload this in the cycle. But thank you for watching, and please, Stay spooky. Buyer beware. You're in for a scare, I should have said at some point in that review. Huh.